Hey, yo, what's the 411, hon? What's the 411? I got it going on. So, every other day, I do cycling on um, the bicycle machine in the gym. Uh, that's my cardio. And then I, you know, lift weights on alternating days or whatever. Uh, and I've been, to help me do cardio even longer, I've been reading books. Um, I started reading my friend's book who was on a previous video, My Ed, Interesting Read. And um, now I have started reading a new book. And let me tell you a short story before I, I tell you what book this is. So, a couple weeks back, I had to go up to my alma mater, uh, Morgan State University. I needed to pick up my transcripts because I was under the impression that I would be able to take the CPA exam this summer. But unfortunately, I can't because I still need to get more credits under my master's degree in order to take the exam. So we got to push it off till a later date. And that's fine. So while up there, I was uh, with a friend um, in the bookstore, and I was going to the bookstore originally to get a umbrella because I thought I had lost mine. Thank God I didn't because those umbrellas are like $30, and I really do enjoy that umbrella. <laughs> so while I was up there, we uh, met up with another friend before going out to eat, but while we were in there... I was looking through the bookshelves at some of the books that were there and there was this one book that just it drew me in and it was on the shelf and the name of the book was called Stop Being Niggardly and the Nine Other Things Black People Need to Stop Doing by Karen Hunter. Niggardly has a nice little draw you in type of uh, I'm sorry <laughs> has a nice little ring to it to draw you in when it's on, sitting on the shelf and I kudos to Karen Hunter for doing that if you don't know who Karen Hunter is um, she is now the uh, CEO and creator of Hunter Books that's right her last name she has opened up her own black owned publishing house and she is responsible for co-authoring many popular books that have been on the New York's uh, best-selling uh, list, New York Times best-selling list. Um, one of them being Superhead's uh, Video Vixen books um, that she co-authored, and also she co-authored the uh, likes of LL Cool J, another bestseller. So. She knows how to write, and she's also been a, she's also made appearances on CNN, and she teaches at um, occasion. Well, she taught, and I don't know if she still does, but she was a professor at um, Hunter University. During this time, you know, I'm I'm reflecting, and I'm feeling like I need to figure out who I am. I'm making changes in my life. I've cut back on the party scene a little bit. You know, I'm trying to educate myself, trying to do the right things you know to get some more fulfillment out of my life and I feel like God called me to this book because there is so much information in this book to, that helps dispel the misinformation in so many black people's minds um, I have mentioned this book on my Facebook page and one of my friends who I love to death um, from from college and when we see each other it's just like you know yesterday we were hanging with each other she's so, such a sweet girl you know she went off on this tangent about um, I'm, it just hurts my heart to see black people always criticizing black people da 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 you know we need to come together da 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 not even have read the book just because of this one word just because of this one word and I think that's what she did that for the controversy that it would bring up. So, this book, it talks about so many things. It talks about black people in finance. It talks about us business, creating businesses in our community. It talks about how you have a Korean nail salon and a Chinese carryout and a hair, beauty hair supply store all owned by people of Asian descent in black communities and we complain about how they take our money even at the liquor store and we take a uh, complaint about how they take our money but we don't do anything to make change 
No one is opening up, you know, small businesses in our communities. Why aren't we doing that? But we complain about the about the money coming out of our community. It talks about us tearing down our heroes, like how most black people, when Obama first came out and said that he was going to run for president, most black people didn't feel he was black enough. And you still have some other le leaders right now who are trying to tear him down, even as he is our 44th president. Um, it talks about... What else does it talk about? It talks about, you know, the whole di divide and conquer uh, scenario as far as slavery and the house slave and the field slave and the Puerto Rican and the Dominican and the Haitian who all think they're Latino. But in reality, you're actually, if you go by the one drop rule, you're actually black. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it just talks about so much stuff and it gives history on you know blacks and you know history that isn't put in our history books and it just it's just eye-opening and how much information is out there that is in books that I didn't know about because I wasn't reading because you know the like I said um, to a friend before the last book I read seriously was hiding in hip-hop and the book was about um, a man who was working in the music and rap industry who was homosexual and he was struggling with his sexuality but a lot of people bought the books in hopes of him dropping names about who was gay I mean do we really need the names to be dropped I mean we have an idea of who they are um, but yeah so this is a really good book and you know it just makes me think and make me want to strive to do more. Uh, I think this is a great read for anybody who wants something deeper than you know your typical Zane book or you know your tell all. If you want to know some history and you know know some of the flaws within our community and not just take them as oh this is just somebody thinking they're better than me. I mean she actually I mean along with the criticism she goes and talks about ways on how to improve instead of just you know criticizing and not doing anything about it and I think she leads by example with this book so I know everyone may not want to read this but you know that's that's that's, that's your that is at your own discretion um, I strongly su suggest it and if one person reads this book based off of my recommendation, I think that I have done my part. <laughs> this is a good book. And when I tell you, oh, like I'm in the gym pumping it and I'm up in that gym. I know somebody probably thought I was crazy because I was like, mm, you know, like when the preacher preaching and you like, mm, yes, like that. That's how this book was. Or is because I'm actually only halfway through I'm not even done and I'm recommending this book so please 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 go out and support a fellow black author entrepreneur professor who's giving back to the community I strongly 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 recommend this as a must read all right talk to you all later